Hi everybody, this is Cindy Davis Mikowatchik or Cindy Miller Mikowatchik, depending on how you follow me on Facebook. Welcome to Adapt Your Life, the Friday Live. Um, on Facebook, I'm also known as Ask Nurse Cindy. And today, we're going to talk about going from disillusionment to illuminated. How low carb eating, how what we put in our mouth has totally revolutionized my family's health and how we feel about our future. So what do I mean by that? Well, food is power. Food is actually little packets of information. And when you alter what you eat, you can change the trajectory of your future. You can change the trajectory of your health. And I'm so, so honored to be here. You can see, I didn't clean the back. Let me clean this up. I've got, I'm in a hotel room and I should have prepped my I should have prepped my area a little bit better. That's so funny. I'm so honored to be here with you today and also to talk to you about the Adapt Your Life Houston event that's coming up May 19th. Totally honored to be on the stage with Dr. Eric Westman and Dr. Nadir Ali, who is a cardiologist in the Houston area. And they're bringing a live half-day event May 19th at the Doubletree Hotel by the George Bush Airport, so George Bush International Airport, and they've kept the prices extremely reasonable. And during this half-day event where you get a chance to learn about nutrition and the key it has in your health, you're gonna also be able to interact with other people that live this lifestyle or want to start living this lifestyle. And so I'm totally honored to be there. If you go, if you're on the Adapt Your Life page now, you're going to be able to just go over to the link and buy your tickets on Eventbrite. So if you don't have that, I'll post it after the video. I'll post the link, and I'm sure the Adapt Your Life folks will be more than happy to help you. So it's a half-day event, very reasonable. I think it's either $20 or $25, but that is the event in Houston, and we want to bring hope and health to Houston. So we're looking forward to that. So let's talk about going from disillusionment to being illuminated. What does that mean? You know, as a registered nurse, I'm a registered nurse. I've been a registered nurse for 40 years this year. I just turned 61 on Monday. Yay! And all of my life, I struggled with my weight. All of my life. My first memory of school was having to get on front of the scales. We used to have to weigh yearly at the beginning of the year. And in front of my first grade class, they would then call out your weight. And my Classmates were 68, 70 pounds. I stepped on the scales and I was 98 pounds in the first grade. One of those memories that's burned into you. And to say that I have tried every single diet that was available in the last 50 years is an understatement. Multiple attempts. And after a while, if any of you understand this, if any of you have been challenged with not being able to manage your weight, with being obese, with being made fun of, you become very disillusioned. You're like, why? Why am I not able to manage this? Why are so many others able to handle this? And it was much more apparent when I was younger, um, in the 60s. And then in the 70s and 80s, when I was going through high school and when I was in college for nursing school, it was a little bit more common, but I was always still the largest person around. And that really breaks your heart, and it, it puts a burden on how you interact with people and your either willingness or unwillingness to go forward. So when I first discovered low-carb eating, uh, dropping your processed carbs, banning sugar from your life, it was introduced to me by my sister, Debbie Stokes. And she sent me a um, YouTube video by Dr. Sarah Hallberg talking about what if we've been treating type 2 diabetes wrong the whole time. And I watched it, and because she'd been doing low-carb for a couple weeks, and she was like, Oh, Cindy, you've got to listen to this. And I was like, because uh, I was disillusioned. I just thought I, I was hopeless. I felt helpless. I had resigned myself at age 59 years of age to just this was the way it was going to be for me. And I was on this slow slide into ill health with an increased A1C, hemoglobin A1C. And I watched that. And I, was, I called her. I said, oh, my God, I can't, I can't stand it. It makes sense clinically. And then as a nurse, I wanted to look into the evidence. I wanted to look into what is it that is different about this. And I found Dr. Eric Westman, and I found the Adapt Your Life site, uh, site, and I started to geek out. 
and my family started to change what they ate because when you think about I'd like you to think about food not just as something that is delicious and luscious or boring if you're following a cardboard and carrot low carb excuse me low calorie low fat diet think of it not as just food I want you to think of it as a letter to yourself and it's an instruction manual and I had been putting junk mail in my body all my life and I changed it over to a love letter in other words as I altered and as my family altered what they put in their mouth it gave different instructions to our bodies and instead of constantly being in this cycle of blood sugar up and blood sugar down when you lower your carbohydrate intake, when you increase your healthy fats and have moderate amounts of protein, what happens is that whole cyclical just constantly thinking about food and constantly eating and just every couple of hours getting hangry and irritable and shaky disappears. And it was like this miraculous change came over me. I'm down 70 pounds. My family is down over 750 pounds. Pounds. Let me say that again. It's almost half a ton. 750 pounds as a family. Now, you're like, but, but can I do it? I'm diabetic. I don't have a gallbladder. I, I don't like certain vegetables. Hey, there's, there's a way to fit this eating plan into whatever you're doing. In fact, my daughter, Rachel D., who is in her mid-30s, has been a type 1 diabetic since she was 3. She was di diagnosed at 37 years, uh, 37 months, not years, 37 months of age. And as a type 1 diabetic, you stop producing all insulin. So she has been able to, her and her husband Justin, who I think is down about 50 pounds, and she's down about 30. When you take insulin, if you're a type 2 or a type 1 diabetic and you are taking insulin in order to keep your blood sugars in a, in a normal range, what that insulin is doing is driving that glucose out of your bloodstream, but it has to put it somewhere. It doesn't just evaporate into the air. It has to be stored as energy. And if you have a lot of muscle needs for energy, or maybe your liver needs some stored glycogen, you'll store it healthily. Otherwise, it gets stored as fat, because that's, fat cells think of them as our savings account. So when I was giving myself junk mail, when I was delivering junk mail to my mailbox, <laughs> and I was just constantly giving it junk, minimal nutritional value, very high in carbohydrates, it cycled this crazy drive to continue. And I thought I was mentally weak. Here I was a nurse. I was taking care of critically ill patients. I was, I was doing all of these amazing things as a nurse. I was a pretty good mom. I, I was a, a, a pretty good wife. I had my issues, of course, but I couldn't get the weight, and the weight just kept going up, 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 up. My highest weight was 305 pounds, and I'm, I'm in the size 8 or 10 right now. I have been illuminated, and I want that for you. I want that for everyone in Houston. I want you to hear the story that Dr. Westman and Dr. Ali have to bring to you about how you can change your future. My Facebook page, Ask Nurse Cindy, was started just to document my journey because I wanted to hold myself accountable. And my tagline is informed self-care is the key to your health. When you inform yourself about what food really does, that if I love myself with my love letters, my information packets of good, healthy, whole foods, if I minimize the processed food, if I avoid things with 20 names on the back of the package that I can't even pronounce in the way of preservatives and dyes, when I give myself the, the bounty of the earth, amazing things happen. Health, hope, healing, it's an amazing process. And I hope you join us in Houston. I hope you continue to follow Adapt Your Life. I hope you share this video. Hit the share button. I would be totally thrilled and honored to help anyone realize that there's never a point in your life that you're past being able to make the rest of your life better. Where you are today does not determine where you're going to be tomorrow and next week and next month. It, it's just an amazing journey, and we've really been fed a big fat pack of lies about what health is for those of us that are carb intolerant, for those of us that are easily triggered. And it has been an absolutely incredible, life-changing journey. 
my family, when we get together now, you know, food is such an important part of family get-togethers, of holidays. Because of our illumination, and, and, and I'm not saying that with, with just casual intonation, when you realize that you can feel vibrant and healthy by simply changing the triggers or the letters that you are delivering to your mailbox, when you put love letters in versus junk mail, amazing things happen. Inflammation is reduced. Mental clarity increases. You sleep better. I have many fewer headaches. My daughter Rachel, who suffered from migraines, um, has almost dropped her migraines. Her insulin boluses are down. My 84 and 85-year-old parents are doing ketogenic. My mom is a type 2, but she actually is on an insulin pump now because of the progression of the disease over the years, but she's found the ketogenic lifestyle. Her A1C is fantastic. Her insulin rate is down. She's lost 50 pounds at 84. Do not tell me you cannot do this because you can, but you need to understand the why. And events like what Adapt Your Life is bringing to Houston, watching the videos of Dr. Eric Westman explaining just how simple this can be. Can you make it really complex and weigh your food and track all this stuff? Absolutely. But you can start today avoiding the processed, very sugary foods. You can add today a salad to your, to your diet. You can add some good, healthy fats and some good meats and simply avoid the processed carbs. And that's one of the best ways to explain it to friends is I don't tolerate processed carbs well. I've been doing this t almost two years now, and I'm not looking back. I want to help you. Dr. Westman wants to help you. Come to join us in Houston. Look this up. If you live anywhere close or if you know anybody that lives in Houston, share this video with them. Share it to your Facebook page. If you're part of a low-carb group, Share it to that low-carb group because we want to see you in Houston, May 19th. We are just thrilled and honored. Dr. Westman, thank you for everything that you do. Dr. Ali, I look forward to meeting you. He runs a low-carb cardiology practice. Let's talk about this. A cardiologist who understands the value of good, healthy fats and decreased carbs. So I'm going to take a minute and see if there's anybody here that I can. Um, hi, Jude. Thanks. You're welcome. Um, oh, good. Washington State. Let me start up at the top here and see who's with us. Um, my daughter, Rachel D is there. My sister, Debbie Stokes, is there. Hi, Laura. Oh, I, I, it's good to see you, too. My daughter, Lauren Getman. All of them are low carb. They're all losing amazing amounts of weight. But you know what? The weight is a side effect. It's just an outcome of changing your internal metabolism of changing the triggers because food tells my body what to do. And if I only give it junk food, if I only give it empty, carbohydrate-rich calories, I'm, I'm telling it to store it as fat because my glucose level must be kept in a normal level to maintain health. So I'm going to, when I decrease those carbs, when I give it the good nutrient-dense whole foods, amazing things happen. And I, I'm... I'm beyond giddy at the trajectory my life has taken. The illumination, the excitement, the encouragement I feel for my future that I didn't feel two years ago. And I want you to feel that. I really do. I, I want that for you. Um, so let me see who else is here, see if there's any questions. Oh, good. You guys, hi from Ohio. Hi, Carol. Hi, Lee. Oh, from Alberta. I'm going to be up in uh, Winnipeg. Speaking at a conference up there. Gina's cholesterol's down. Mine's down to 156. Um, hi, Lauren, my dear daughter, my youngest, um, and Rachel, my oldest. She's on here. She, follow them. Uh, Rachel D is the type one diabetic, and she will. Um, she posts all sorts of great recipes. So let me see what else is here, and then I'm going to sign off. Um, oh, Turner, uh, that's so fantastic. Hi, Glenn. I, oh, Glenn from the Adapt Your Life staff. You guys are awesome. Um, I'm honored. I just feel like I'm, I'm uh, some no, you know, it's just, I'm honored. I just can't even tell you how, how I wake up some mornings and I'm like, what? I'm doing what? It, it's an honor because I want the freedom that's come to me. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> I've already got my makeup on. I've got to go down and work the booth at this convention I'm at. I want the freedom I found to be yours. And it can be. There's stuff to learn, but you can keep it simple. Progress over perfection. Make 
good choices because you understand you're putting information, you're putting the instruction manual of how your future is going to be in your mouth. And there's luscious, delicious, decadent foods you can eat. It's not a, it's not a eating plan of deprivation. It's an eating plan of much delight. So I'm going to sign off because now I feel silly all. <laughs> but you know what? When you've been set free, when you've been set free, you want to share it. So join us in Houston. It's on May 19th. I won't cry from the stage. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. I hope you have a great weekend. Share this video. Come join us in Houston. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.